Yo, what's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Samuele Nocentini and uh, yeah, today we are back uh, with another of uh, Rudy's uh, cars and uh, we are actually back in the English barn and uh, we have a 1960 MG. We have it right here, beautiful blue, almost like pastello if I were to judge and uh, yeah, we're going to make a comparison with uh, the last video with the old uh, Triumph, same year, but Rudy said completely different car, so we're going to make an interesting comparison between these two, and uh, yeah, we're going to take it for a spin and have some fun. If uh, you guys want to see the review of the old Triumph right there, I'm going to put the links uh, right up in the corner and uh, you guys can check it out. Hey guys, how cool is this, eh? Beautiful car. Ready to go for a spin there, babe. <laughs> awesome. Okay. 1960, yeah, Rudy? 1960 MGA 1600. So you said the same year of the Triumph, yep. but uh, yep. quite a different car, huh? Totally different, yeah. Same, but different, right? Yeah. Okay. This is such a sweet, sweet girl. Let's see if she starts. <laughs> oh, hear that? Yeah. Now that fuel pump, which is electric, is filling up the carburetors right now, the float bowls. So you have to wait until that all goes away. That's quite the noise. Eh? <laughs> okay. That's awesome. Yeah, so now, now we pull the choke yeah. and twist it just like the TR. Then, here's the starter. So it's sort of like the TR where you push the starter. Yeah, you pull this it. This one you push. Oh, no. Yeah. She's a dead. Two hours later.
Yeah, just put it wherever you like. Grazie. Grazie a te. you have it another very beautiful driving experience as uh, me and Rudy call it the real art of driving which uh, I think it's uh, pretty on spot but uh, yeah as you guys can see there is there she is really really nice car so fun this thing look how beautiful this thing looks it's just top down perfect for a beautiful day on Vancouver Island look how nice it is simple in this one we actually have uh, the heater on the inside which is uh, an upgrade from the from the TR3 but <laughs> quite funny to see but uh, yeah uh, totally different car this one has a rack and pinion steering which uh, was the most noticeable difference for me with compared uh, with the TR3 which has a steering box another beautiful day with Rudy thanks again to him and uh, yeah, we'll have uh, many more reviews coming, so you guys stay tuned and I hope you're enjoying. But uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one, okay? From Samuele, this is all. Ciao.